let me guess, you hate the Redesign Photos app in iOS 18. Well, it's not coming back, but I can give you some tips to make it closer to what it was before. Here's how to fix it. Before I walk you through it, if you want more helpful tips, why not consider following along to the channel by hitting that subscribe button. With iOS 18, Apple completely overhauled the Photos app with basically a ground up redesign. It's been controversial to say the least. It's become surefire social fodder to boost engagement as many users complain of confusing design, missing features, and a general dislike of the app. While the old app isn't coming back, I can definitely show you how you can restore much of the former glory. Starting off, make sure you're entirely up to date. Some changes arrived with the recent iOS 18.2 update that just launched. I'll go over them in a few. But that update had a bunch of changes, and if you want to learn more about everything new in that update, check out the video that I've linked here as I walk through dozens of new features. So assuming you're updated, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the Photos app. The new app has a singular interface, ditching the tabs. Scroll up to see your full gallery and down to see various collections of images and videos. The first thing you can do is adjust the gallery view. Tap the up down arrows in the lower left corner. Instead of sorting by date captured, sort by recently added so you can see all of your new images first. You can also hit view options to show screenshots in this gallery too. That will give you that overall view of all of your media sorted by when you've added it to the app. Next, we want to remove the unnecessary sections that you perhaps don't want. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the app and tap the big customize and reorder button. Apple really wants to make sure you see this. From here, you can uncheck any of the collections that you don't want to see. I'd suggest for a lot of people ditching memories, trips, feature photos, recent days, and wallpaper suggestions as some of the extra ones that people don't use as frequently. That'll leave you with like shared albums, media types, and utilities. It'll look a lot cleaner. Using the tabs, those little icons there on the right, you can reorder these too as needed, putting the most relevant ones there towards the top. I think one of the most powerful parts of this app is the pinned collections section. This you can literally make anything you want. You could hide basically everything else in the app and just leave this and it could be useful. You can use any album or collection here, like your favorites, or screenshots, trips, or photos of certain people or groups. Seriously, if I have one tip for the app, it is utilize that pinned collections thing. It takes you a few minutes to set up and get what you want there. Once you do, it's very, very handy. When you are viewing an album or collection, they also have this big rotating preview at the top. If you don't like it, one more tap on the arrows in that lower left corner, and you can turn off the movie preview. Now, I know all of this doesn't take care of all of the complaints of the Photos app, but it's at least a little bit closer to what we had before. The thing is, Apple has been listening to feedback, so give the app a chance. Like I said, iOS 18.2 added several new tweaks. You can stop videos from looping, you can scrub through videos frame by frame with more precise timestamps in the, the time bar at the bottom. You can also now swipe to go back out of collections versus having to tap the back arrow. And videos immediately play full screen with just a tap to dismiss the controls, very similar to how it was before. If you have more suggestions about the Photos app, you can also file feedback with Apple. Just visit feedback.apple.com and let them know. People can't say that Apple doesn't listen. Even during the original beta phase, things have changed significantly. They used to have this massive carousel when you launched the app and you could customize it and things like that, but it was like big full screen carousel. I actually really, really liked it. Let me know down below in the comments if you saw this original carousel and my original coverage and if you liked that look or if you're glad that Apple ditched it. Who knows? Apple may even have more changes in mind. We're going to get new updates here in the spring and of course we'll have iOS 19, which could make bigger changes for us. We just have to wait. Give the app a shot and let me know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe and I'll catch you all next time.